Live from the Wynn Hotel in Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Magento Imagine 2018. Brought to you by Magento. Welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of Magento Imagine 2018 from the Wynn Las Vegas. I'm Lisa Martin, and I'm excited to be joined by some award finalists of the Magento Imagine Experience Awards. We have Dr. Marcus Reis, the Chief Marketing Officer at Gabor Shoes, and Stefan Vilkoman, the CEO of Tech Division of Systems Integrator. Hi guys, welcome to theCUBE. Hi. Hi, nice Hi. to meet you. <laughs> Great to have you guys here. Congratulations on being a, an, an award finalist for the best sales channel growth. We're going to talk about that in a second, but Gabor Shoes, talk to us about, uh, sorry, what, what Gabor does, where you guys are located, and, and then we'll talk about how you're uh, transforming uh, the shoe space with e-commerce. Gabor is a manufacturer of shoes, ladies' shoes only. Our headquarters is in Germany, and our main markets are in Germany and Central Europe, but we do also export to 60 countries, more than 60 countries worldwide, to China, to Korea, also to the United States a little. Ah, lucky me. So your customers are, are the retailers themselves. How many different brands do you have, different SKUs, different products? I imagine it's massive numbers. Uh, yes, our main product is ladies' shoes. As I said, we have several brands for the ladies' shoes, Gabor, Rolling Soft for the sports shoes uh, type, but we also offer uh, bags, handbags, and uh, socks and tights, but the most important is the ladies' shoes for us. So many, many, hundreds of thousands of SKUs, lots of different locations. You've been the chief marketing officer there for quite a long time. Talk to us about the opportunity that you saw that you could give to your retailers by expanding this physical in-store shopping experience into the online world. Yes. Um, we have started our online business um, quite late. We long time hesitated to set up our own online shop towards the end user because it was our, always our philosophy that we want to be partners of our retailers. We did not want to compete with them in, uh, by opening an online shop. So it was clear for us that when we start our online business, we want to have our retailers as partners on our side. And that's why we developed this omnichannel concept uh, that integrates the retailers. Omnichannel is, is a word that we hear a lot at events like this. It's, it's critical, right, for uh, a seamless customer experience. We were talking before we went live as we're all consumers, everyday lives, we pick up a tablet or a mobile phone and we expect to be able to find whatever we want at, the, you know, at, at a simple click. How did, what was the process like of of becoming partners with your retailers, was it an obvious sell to them that they had revenue generating opportunities, the opportunities to reach many more customers in different regions, or was it more of a challenging mm. conversation to convince them? Yeah, let me explain a little bit about the situation. Um, we do distribute via traditional, classic, brick and mortar retailers primarily. There are around 5,000 companies worldwide um, that buy shoes from Gabor, they have around 20,000 uh, stores. Um, but the situation is that there is a, yeah, quite a mixed stru structure of retailers. Many of them are small businesses, family owned businesses, and they do not have the chance to have an own online presence that is competitive. So they have to focus on the brick and mortar business. But Nowadays in Germany we have around 30% of all shoes that are bought online and this brings ma many of our customers into trouble. So it was our idea uh, to open this marketplace uh, to let the traditional retailer participate at the online business. So talk to us about from a technology perspective, the modern technology that you needed to be able to deliver this. So Stefan, talk to us about how Tech Division as, as a longtime partner yeah. of, uh, of Magento, is helping and working with Gabor Shoes to enable this omni-channel experience. I mean, first of all, the marketplace looks like a simple online shop. So for the end consumer, it looks like any other online shop where you simply buy just the shoes. Uh, in the background, there are a lot of processes going on. So like, we have to allocate orders to and source so inventory location, that means a retailer, and we have to uh, look where, I mean, the um, inventory is 
Um, we don't want to do a lot of order splitting, of course, um, because we don't want to ship in a, a lot of different packages. And you need a sophisticated solution that's capable of doing exactly that, because I mean, there are a lot of processes and uh, of course algorithms around what you need or what you have to have in place that you can do that like that. And Magento was offering um, with the order management they are exactly great product to delivering that. So um, this is the foundation for the whole concept and makes it able for us and for Gabor to integrate the retailers really smooth. So how many retailers are integrated currently? We have started the concept just a few months ago. It was surprising that so many retailers contacted us and said, I want to be part of that system. So we have around 100 retailers with around 400 stores that have still have to be connected. Currently we have 40 stores connected with the system. So you, you had retailers that were proactively reaching out to you saying, we want to, we want to get in on this? Yeah. Wow, that must have been pretty exciting. And Stefan, you mentioned the word simple, and that's something that, as buyers, we ex we want a simple, yeah. clean experience as the consumer, but also for the retailer, right, and the supplier. Talk to us about how you're leveraging, you mentioned the Magento order management software, to give your retailers this complete visibility of their inventory so that they can fulfill through the right channels. Yeah. First of all, it is um, in the German market, in the German retail shoe market, uh, um, a little bit simpler may, maybe than in other countries. There is um, a couple of um, POS solutions, there are not too many, and we build a basic interface so they can really easily attach their inventory to uh, our uh, order management or the order management of Gabor, and then we are able to utilize that different inventory or the different stocks. That is pretty pretty simple. There are a lot of other processes um, which are not really technical, it's more about contracting, I mean, to onboard the, the retailers, there uh, is of course some training, you have to train the people, the staff, because I mean, they have to um, use the platform in that way that they are, uh, see, okay, an order is coming in, what, what they have to do now, they have to create the pick list, they have to, you know, um, pick the stuff, um, pack the stuff, ship the stuff, print the label out, putting the documents in and everything, so you have to train the people and, but the, uh, simplicity is um, because you just they just need a simple web browser to do that. So either a tablet or a PC, that's all what they need. They don't need any other software, they don't uh, need really other devices. Basically most of the uh, retail stores already have these kind of devices in store. So they can they can utilize an existing POS system or maybe an ERP system yes. right. instead of having to replace things. So from an, an integration perspective it sounds like it's a fairly um, yeah, they, they don't have to invest really money, they just have to, I mean, bring the inventory, and that can be either uh, through a flat file or through a web service, so both, both um, uh, possibilities are there right now, and they just need a, a, a web browser connected to the internet, that's all. Sounds so simple. Yeah, So let's it talk is. about, you know, we're, we, we hear the term digital transformation used everywhere, right? And it means different things to different organizations depending on where they are in that digital transformation journey. Um, when we look at commerce, commerce is becoming a center of gravity mm. for digital transformation. Marcus, talk to us about the transformation that Gabor has undergone. Where are you on this digital transformation journey? Still, we are really on, right on the beginning. We have. We have installed, of course, uh, digital tools uh, to, to make the sales process easier, but we always thought about B2B processes. For example, we have installed a B2B online shop maybe 10 or 12 years ago, so that's an existing thing. The new thing for us is that we uh, go towards the end user. Um, I, I have a number for you. We produce a, around nine million pairs of shoes every year, and still the amount what we directly sell to the end user is a very, very small am amount. So we are at the beginning of this process, but we have ambitious goals and we want to grow in the future. We started our marketplace concept in Germany, but we want to roll it out to other European countries, maybe to uh, countries outside Europe. So there's a lot to do, a lot of opportunity 
opportunities for us in the next, in the coming years. So let's talk about the rest of 2018. Uh, here we are in April. You're going to be adding many more retailers. How, what are some of the things from a technology perspective that Tech Division is going to be able to do with you, and maybe Magento, to start finding um, you know, the other eight million op in opportunity that you just mentioned? In the end, in the end it's not just a thing of, of the online store, but of course it's a thing of online marketing. So this uh, has to be increased, definitely. Yeah, we still have a lot of things to do, onboarding the retailers, and this again is not just a technical thing, it's a lot of, uh, Stefan already told you, it's, a, a lot, it's, it's more to do with training and uh, explaining the processes. Um, that costs a lot of time, and so it goes step by step, but we make good progress there. So last question, Stefan, for you. As the Chief Marketing Officer, I'm a marketer myself, Tell me about, from a digital marketing perspective, as consumers, we, and, and really in the B2B space, Magento had a study on their website that said 93% of B2B buyers want to purchase online, right? So we're seeing that trend, this consumerization in the, into the business space. From a marketing perspective, there's a lot of shifting going on there too. Big data has been a big enabler of, of marketing becoming a science and being able to really not, being able to demonstrate to the business and, and influence business there. Tell me a little bit about in the last minute or so, how are you leveraging big data and analytics, maybe even through Magento, mm -hmm. to redefine uh, marketing that you're doing at Gabor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, big data can help us uh, to build customer groups, to send them individual offerings. That's a good thing about yeah, the digital business, when we have a satisfied customer, of course we can always uh, again send them uh, products, product offerings, and, but these offerings, they have to uh, be individual, they have to be relevant for the end user, and that's why um, um, artificial intelligence, for example, can help us. Yeah. Maybe to add something, I mean, uh, what we, I mean, we already started to using Magento BI, for example, so we are using the full commerce suite of Magento right now. What we are using there is to measuring how fast the shipment is done through the retail stores and then, I mean, adjusting the uh, allocation to that measurement. So if a retailer is shipping faster, um, it's getting more likely that he's getting an order allocated next time when an allocation run is taking place. So we are using this um, to get I mean a better end user, uh, con uh, consumer experience by having um, the products uh, earlier or a more frequent ship. Right, and so many, so many benefits for the businesses, the retailers, right? Maybe repeat sales, making things, they've got this instant purchase uh, capability that Magento released recently, one click, yeah. you can get things even faster, reducing checkout time, all the things that, that drive up uh, repeat business, but uh, but also the personalization front is going to be key to be able to deliver, as you said, yeah. uh, Marcus, the relevant offers that, exactly. that we exactly. all want. Yeah. The great benefit of this marketplace concept is that since we have connected the different stocks of our retailers, we can offer much more products by this way than we could do it alone. So the offering of our 3,000 styles per season uh, gets nearly unlimited unlimited to the end user. Limitless, we talk about limitless commerce. Well gentlemen, thank you so much for thank stopping you. by and having a chat with me today. We wish you good luck on the award nomination. I hear those are being given out tonight, so best of luck and we hope to see you again on theCUBE soon. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot. We want to thank you for watching theCUBE live from Las Vegas at Magento Imagine 2018. I'm Lisa Martin, you're watching theCUBE, stick around. We'll be right back with our next guest.